How's it going? Welcome, everybody. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. Happy Wednesday. Today, Bitcoin is trading at 57,040 bucks. Looking pretty good here on the four hour. Hope you're doing well, staying safe in your trades. Very happy to be with you. Very happy that you are here with us. Uh, we go over some cryptocurrency, blockchain news. Basically, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, talking about a few altcoins. I've got some potential investment opportunities for you if you're interested. And then we take suggestions from you while we're looking at the crypto coin market cap and talking about bullshit. If you are interested in cryptocurrencies, DeFi or whatever, um, yeah, glad, glad, uh, glad to have you here and glad uh, that you can engage with me. Ask me stuff. Let's talk. I want to hear what, what coins you guys are looking at. What trades? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm Elliot, and uh, thanks for being here. Let's look at BTC on the four hour first off. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Well, BTC on the four hour did manage to break up on 54K. We were looking at this on Monday. Currently, BTC four hour looks pretty bullish here. We have a next resistance target of about 57.5. Um, not holding too, uh, I'm not holding too religious the 57.5 number. So if we if we came up to 58.23 and then you know got re got rejected or whatever, I'd still I'd still say that as a as a valid um, as a valid smack of that level. So don't um, be flexible with your um, with your levels. I believe. You know, I don't think we have to smack it exactly by the penny, but you should get the, you should understand that there was resistance here and we broke that resistance. There's another resistance here, more significant resistance. Breaking up here, I think, would be indicative that Bitcoin's ready to do some macro motherfucking moves. So like 70 percent BTC increase would be huge macro moves. And, and obviously there's going to be some fundamental um, reason because the market caps 1.7 trillion dollars, which is huge. We just keep on pumping. So, uh, is the market really actually ready to mature and grow at such a rapid rate, or is this short-term live liquidity about ready to dry up um, for a potential retest of some lower levels? Do want to caution. There is a lot of uh, sentiment in the market that is also waiting for lower levels. So if your analysis was, you know, you're looking for 27k BTC, I might suggest you move one level up if that makes any sense. So now look for 32 or 33k BTC. Uh, just don't be, uh, yeah. Anyways, so that's my analysis on the BTC four hour is that I'm still looking for lower levels for BTC longs. If you were playing this, uh, you should have been long taking profit here and taking another profit here. You could potentially play this as look for a short with a stop loss above breakout um, all time high. So that's something to think about. What's up, Jello? Trust swap. I'm all new features soon. Okay, yeah. Let's take a look at our first news article of the day. I do want to talk to you guys about a couple things. This is super cool. Um, Coinbase is like this amazing platform where you can they just list any piece of shit that they want, and it automatically magically pumps. Um, so, yeah. Basically, if you want to be a 400 IQ investor, just buy whatever Coinbase lists. And um, yeah, you should, historically speaking, you you do all right. Looking at three new coins coming to Coinbase Pro, Coinbase Pro, tomorrow. And if you are familiar with how Coinbase does their altcoin launches, they release them on Coinbase Pro first, and then they come, um, then they're announced or then they're available to the uh, regular Coinbase users. Matic, Sushi, and SKL are the Three new coins that will be listed on Coinbase Pro tomorrow. Coinbase Pro. So Matic, buy some Matic, buy some Sushi, buy some SKL. Actually, interestingly enough, Scale is our DeFi project of the day. 
So that's kind of cool. Um, take a look at news article number two, unless there's any questions. Twitter is a fucking shit show, again. Um, suspending accounts Plan B, CryptoDog, and other crypto influencers. One trillion USD account. Basically, just more censorship and more reason why I believe... Um, especially even even in social media. Gosh, someone could create Ditter, decentralized Twitter, and um, absolutely smash the game. Or, or, you know, whatever. Decentralized, anonymous Facebook. Smash the game. So there's a lot of opportunity in this space, and you want to talk about use case and mass adoption. Well, we see, we see the use case here, the, um, the freedom of or the lack of concern of our freedom of speech uh, due to terms of service loopholes that they are claiming that they can just, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your attention that, you know, Twitter is still a piece of shit. It's a shitty platform. Um, but yeah, let's look at number two here, or number three. Numero Trace here, Phantom. Um, Phantom FTM is presenting to the United Nations CBDC and stablecoin teams tomorrow. So that's pretty exciting. If you want to watch that live, I'm going to try and have the live seminar up for you guys on the stream. So if you want to watch that, just come back tomorrow and I'll try to have that up. But basically they're pitching 193 members member states, 700 private sector companies, 160 academic institutions, and they are explaining the use case of blockchain technology, um, DeFi, and uh, non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Digital currency global investment global initiative provides an open and neutral platform for dialogue, knowledge sharing, and research on central banking, digital currency, CBDC applications, and other digital currency implementations. It's advanced. It advances the dialogue and research initiative. Okay, yeah, we that's the digital currency global initiative. Phantom Foundation. Phantom's another good coin. If you want to. Um, Phantom's done some really crazy stuff, but I imagine that this probably, um, the Phantom Foundation presenting will probably be bullish for the, for the coin, um, in the, in the near future. So can I talk in discord? Yes. Jello, do you, uh, you want to talk like on, um, on the stream? You want to come talk in the live stream? I don't have headphones in, so I'd have to put my headphones in, but I'm definitely not opposed to someone else talking. I think it, that would be great content. Great, great content. Great school. All right, while we're waiting for Jello, let's take a look at our DeFi project of the day. Scale, SKL, coming to Coinbase tomorrow. Coinbase Pro. So Scale is a currently elastic blockchain network. Guys, there's so much to it. I'm just going to recommend if you want to learn more about it that you do your own research, but run your own dApps in a decentralized modular cloud built for real-world needs and configure and configured for your requirements deployed with just a few lines of code. From the research that I've done, basically they are able to, an elastic blockchain, all that basically means is they're able to allocate specific resources. So let's say they you wanted to have your sub chain on the SKL network. So you paid it for the resources to be allocated and they can, um, the chain can be added like it's an elastic blockchain so you think expand and contract so the chain can be added so you can add on your sub chain or it can be taken away uh so that's kind of a cool i um that's the elasticity blockchain of skl or the uh application but also there are 
Um, you can currently stake for like 10, 5 to 20 percent your SKL. So if you had this coin, um, you can stake it. There are there are uh, several platforms that you can stake it on. So that's our that's our uh, DeFi project of the day coming at you. If you guys have any coins you want for me to chart, now would be the time to drop them in the chat. Please. Please. Um, can you look at Hive? It's on Binance. Yes. Let's take a look at Hive. Hive. Binance. One month. Not the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Not a lot of chart data. I uh, do want to caution you against that. But from a technical perspective, this weekly two, three, this weekly candle that we had just looks bizarre, like fucking nuts. So I think this looks actually pretty good. You're going to want to, if you wanted to break out, play this. I mean, next time we pop up, we've already tested. We've already tested um, 36 cents. Next time we pop up on 36 cents, we'll probably just make a, cause this, and if this is the only hive, is this the only data that I have? Hoobie? Okay, I got a little bit more data here. Okay, let's use this, let's chart this, here. let's chart here. Okay, support, 382, already tested. Yeah, we're looking higher. Yeah, one, two, we're looking, yeah, we're looking for a double on this daily here. I think this looks pretty fantastic, actually. Um, I, I want to look at that, uh, what was that, weekly I was looking at? Yeah, look at this weekly. What the shit is this? Everyone, you get liquidated. You get liquidated. I mean, just to close, what the fuck? huge weekly um looks great we're uh opening this weekly yeah this weekly is probably going to close green in this zone which really i don't like to use this data i think that these two candles are just so extreme it's almost uh, i mean i guess we can use this seven seventy six cent line here but the this looks great If you're looking to, for something to get in, let's take a look at the daily. Daily looks good, or, or right on top of here. Four hour, four hour looks good. Fuck it, long hive, boys. And girls. GameStop, holy shit. Can't stop, won't stop. AMC, baby. Next target, 13.8. BTC, okay, what do we got here? Burn FOMOs. <laughs> everyone's everyone's FOMOing. Tesla was doing some funky stuff. Look at this. Oh, can you like, can I just like trade these zones, Tesla, please? Yeah, we'll have to see. Have to see what the BTC wants to do here. I'm waiting for this four hour test. I believe there's a strong argument that um, we, we, we see a lot of volume, a lot of sell volume come in, but that's just my, I, I think this was a little bit inflated or artificially propped up, I should say. It felt like particularly um, in here and here. Jeez. 
Yeah, if you guys have any coins that you'd like for me to chart, we can take a look at those now. If not, we can um, we can take a look at the crypto coin, the coin market cap. Uh, it's pretty much called a day. The fear greed index. Let's take a look at that. If you want to be a master cryptocurrency trader, just buy whenever there's extreme fear in the market. Don't buy when there's greed. When when I mean, this would have been pretty incredible. You'd have bought. 31st of March, 2018. That's when you would have bought there at a 16. Uh, that's extreme. You would have bought the 22nd of August, 2019. That's a five, that is extreme fear. And you basically would have been buying all of March, 2021 or 2020. definitely uh something there's definitely something to the sentiment analysis especially as i the longer that i trade the more i feel um the more i feel the the weight of the sentiment if that makes any sense it's like i can almost feel your fomo right now i can almost feel it I can feel your FOMO in the air coming tonight. Okay, well, uh, market cap 1.7 trill. Yep, 24 hour volume, 129 bill. PTC dominance up a little bit, 61.1% ETH, 12.2% also up a little bit. Uh, coins that you should be buying are Matic, Sushi, and SKL, given that their Coinbase launch is tomorrow. And historically speaking, anything that goes on Coinbase, any piece of shit does really well. Uh, but these aren't pieces of shit. Matic is a great, uh, is a has been performing really well. Um, so is Sushi. S sushi was 50 cents not very long ago, and I think it's 20 bucks now. SKL is 50 cents. And we just talked about that you can passively stake and earn like 15 to 20 percent on your coins currently. And the platform is like, you know, very new, these DeFi platforms. So BTC, let's take one more look at the BTC uh, and ETH. We'll, we'll, let's take a look at ETH. Let's, let's look at that. Look at that. Look at that. ETH looks really, really good. Let's look at ETH to BTC. There it was. ETH to BTC. Okay. This is where I believe that you should be looking. On this chart. On this chart right here. Yeah. I think we're just printing higher lows. We just keep printing these higher lows on this chart. I mean, low, higher, uh, higher, higher, uh, high, higher, high, higher, high. Last test. This would be our first target. And then this would be, you know, target two, I guess. Yeah, so from a technical perspective, I think ETH to BTC looks really good. So when you wake up one morning and you're like, whoa, ETH is over $2,000 and never coming back. Just take a look at the ETH to BTC chart because I guarantee you it popped. It fucking popped. Uh, Olaf, Frankie, Jello, Jello, you can talk on Discord. Oh, are you allowed to talk? I see you here in the chat with me. Are you, hello? 
Hello. <laughs> um, I can plug in my headphones. Hello? Mr. Jello. All right. Um, we'll hang out with Jello here for a sec. See if he wants to share some wisdom with us or whatnot. I got a crab trap. I'm going crabbing. BTC daily looks really good. Don't know. Don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Jello. 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 Output device. Hello? Hello? Testing. Hello? 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 Okay, there we go. Now I can hear myself. Jello, can I hear you? Okay. Um, yeah, fuck it. We'll just keep sticking around for a little bit. Ho, oh, GameStop, what you doing? Gosh, that was a nice, 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 nice. Probably taking some profit. This just looks like some profit taken. I don't know if we were actually ready to come up. We pretty much smashed this, this level today. Smashed it. Jello. Jello. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sit here and talk to myself. I wanted to talk to you, Jello. Get on the mic. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that might be entertaining for future shows. If you guys want to join me. Um, you can join me on Discord. Just have a good microphone and don't be a shitbag. And uh, yeah, we can talk about cryptocurrency live, uh, whatever you want. Or we could argue. I'm always down, to, always down to debate for a debacle. Can you check ONT? Yes. We'll look at ONT. Ontology on Binance. Yeah, O and T looks good. Nice buy volume. Not really sure if we can use that data, but we are. We are going to. Yeah, I I'm pretty pretty bullish on this chart here. I think O and T looks nice. Wow, that was a nice run. Nice little run. Nice little retrace. Held that. Yeah, I could definitely see a continuation. Look to the two. Look to the two, two. Above that. Three, four. Dude, these altcoins, there's so much money to be made on altcoins in 2021. I, I'm, I'm like kind of blown away at people who aren't able to see or understand how there is, how or why there's so much money to be made on altcoins. Market cap. We don't have to, we don't have to do this every day, but we can if we need to. 
talk about money supply, how there's money in the market flowing in cryptocurrency, flowing out of Bitcoin into Ethereum, flowing out of Ethereum into Cardano, into XLM, into Polkadot. All right. Well, um, let's see. I'll be back on Friday. Friday the 12th. I'm considering doing a, like a Saturday, like a Saturday show, a Saturday evening show, but I have not set anything solid. Um, either like Saturday or uh, like a Tuesday and Thursday. I would do like two evening shows, two like 8 p.m. Eastern shows on like Tuesday and Thursday. Just, you know, less formal, less about, um, yeah, I don't even know if this is formal. I mean, I like, I got a shirt on and we'll do the evening shows without a shirt. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for today's show. I'm going to keep an eye on the BTC four hour. A lot of people waiting, a lot of people, lots of impatience in the market. We'll see what happens. Um, I do want to express my, um, analysis is a little bit more bullish than I was previously. So I just wanted to share that with you that whatever your lower levels of entry may possibly be, should you be expecting a rejection, um, meaning that we are not going to all time highs right now, uh, just be, a, I would just suggest to be a little bit more bullish than whatever your target was, just move it up one, um, just for your own safekeeping. There's a lot of money waiting. Um, so if we do potentially go lower, I, I would, um, yeah, just take any entry or opportunity that you can take advantage of it. Should we break out here and just have a continuation into BTC new all time highs? I would, um, uh, love that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to hate, but, um, I guess I would be expecting a huge amount of liquidity to be entering this market because I think if we're breaking up here, We'll probably see a um, a pretty nice BTC run up, but I'm not sure if the market is ready for that at this time. Um, so thank you for being here. I hope this has been entertaining, educational. Uh, this has been fun for me. So if you have any friends who are on cryptocurrency, into cryptocurrency, not into cryptocurrency, into stonks, equities, forex, whatever, uh, or maybe you have been trading cryptocurrency or trading something else, or maybe you have some information or knowledge that you would like to share. I, this platform crypto world news is not about me. It's about helping other people. So if you want to help other people and help me help other people, then yeah, um, you could have a show is what, is what I'm saying. Like, um, whatever your intent is, uh, there's a lot of opportunity in this space for you. So if you're willing to be not just like come on Crypto World News for the show, the cryptocurrency space in general. So whatever your job is, whatever you like to do, uh, having the knowledge and skill set to see what the future of technology is going to be and how you can position yourself up for success. And more importantly, I want to talk about passive success. How can you passively set yourself up for success? And the couple things I wanted to mention is like, you know, work out every day. When your routine consists of successful habits, you'll passively succeed. So if you're passively generating money while you sleep, whether that's in a DeFi project or you're staking or whatever, whatever else you're passively have a business, you're passively setting yourself up for success. You work out every day. You don't even think about it. You're passively setting yourself up for success. Pick up a book five times a week. Every time you pick up that book, remember and learn three things that you read in that book. Make it, you know, something that you enjoy learning about, but just learn. Um, 
passive success. You don't even realize it, but now you're already on the right track and then everything else can come. Whatever you want to work at it um, and, and really crush the game, not so passively, then do that, do that as well. But uh, I really want to encourage you to set yourself up for that future you, which you can already see. So if you're going to be with a smoking hot wife and you're going to be jacked and you're going to be, uh, you know, like, you know, pretty smart leading your company or whatever, then just set yourself up now. Okay. So you're, you're jacked. So you're obviously you work out. You've got a pretty hot wife. So you probably care about what you look like, or you just have stacks and she doesn't care what you look like. And that's pretty unmaterialistic and you'll never be happy. But, uh, and three, like just read books, just like gain knowledge, whatever, even if you can't read, if you're like dyslexic or I don't know, something, you could listen to books. Let's say you can't hear, you can feel books. There's Braille. Um, just not uh, being able to have a perspective that you don't have all the answers that you need and reaching, being resourceful from an outside, from something that's not internal, having that desire to learn from people and knowledge and experience that have been here before you, that's just going to give you a huge leg up and allow you to elevate whatever it is you're trying to do at such a at such an exponential rate because you're not coming from a place of scarcity you're coming from a place of abundance so it's just a difference of perspective you know you don't have to have all the answers your greatest resource is your ability to be resourceful um, but anyways I, i'm not i'm not here trying to life coach today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this show i'll be back on friday namaste stay safe I'm gonna catch some crabs. I'm a crab trap.